The film begins with a scene of an old woman lurking in the shadows of a house as its inhabitants slumber. Rinai and Josh Lambert have moved into a new home with their three children. One day, Rinai and her son, Dalton, look through a family photo album. Dalton asks why there are no pictures of Josh as a child. Rinai explains that Josh has always been camera shy and disliked taking pictures of himself. One night, Dalton hears noises coming from the attic and goes to investigate. As he tries to turn on the light, the ladder he's standing on breaks, causing him to fall. As he looks up at the darkness, he appears to be staring in terror at something. Dalton is shaken, but Renai and Josh put him to bed and warn him not to play in the attic because it's off-limits. The next morning, Dalton doesn't wake up. Renai and Josh take him to the hospital, where doctors are unable to explain his comatose state. After three months, Dalton is brought back home while still in a coma. Strange and unsettling events soon begin to occur. Renai hears a voice on the baby monitor that says, I want it now, and sees a bloody handprint on Dalton's bed. She also encounters a frightening man in her infant daughter's bedroom. Foster, their youngest son, tells Renai that he doesn't like it when Dalton walks around at night. Renai shares her concerns with Josh, but when she's attacked by the strange man, the family decides to move to a new house. However, the supernatural occurrences continue in the new house and become more sinister. Lorraine, Josh's mother, has a dream of entering Dalton's room at night and seeing something in the corner. When she asks, what do you want? It replies, Dalton. Lorraine also sees a red-faced figure standing behind Josh that roars at her. Dalton is then violently attacked in his bedroom, prompting Lorraine to contact her friend, Elise Reiner, who specializes in investigating paranormal activity. Elise and her team enter Dalton's room and she sees a figure that she describes to her assistants. One of them draws a black figure with a red face and dark hollow eyes on the ceiling of Dalton's room, the same figure Lorraine had seen before. Elise explains that Dalton has the ability to astral project while sleeping and has been doing it since he was very young. However, he has gone too far into different spiritual worlds and has become lost in a place called, The Further, a realm for tormented souls of the dead. While Dalton's spirit is in this other world, his body is lifeless. Some of the tormented souls want to use Dalton's state to gain another chance at life, while others, like the old woman and the frightening man, are more malicious. The red-faced figure is a demon who wants to use Dalton for a more nefarious purpose. Josh initially doubts Elisa's claims about their son's demonic possession, but changes his mind after finding Dalton's drawings of the demonic figure she described. Elise and Lorraine later reveal that Josh has the ability to astral project and had been terrorized by an evil spirit during his childhood. They show him pictures from his childhood, which reveal a shadowy old woman who had been following him since he was a child. As he had more photos taken of him, the woman would get closer until she was inches away, explaining his fear of photos. Elise suggests that Josh should use his ability to help rescue Dalton's soul, and Josh agrees to try. To prepare for his astral projection, Elise places Josh in a trance. When he wakes up, he realizes that he has successfully projected and is able to see himself and the others in the room. He ventures into a misty void in search of his son, and encounters a boy who leads him to the same house that the Lamberts moved out of. Inside, he witnesses a family being shot by a strange, smiling woman in the living room. He heads to the attic, where he finds a red door, the same one that Dalton had drawn in his pictures. Just as he is about to enter, the violent man from their daughter's room attacks him, but Josh defeats him and enters the red door. Inside the red door, Josh finds himself in a cavernous red room where he discovers his son, Dalton, chained to the floor and sobbing. He quickly frees his son, but the red-faced demon has already sensed his presence and begins to attack them. Desperately searching for a way out in their physical bodies, Josh and Dalton flee from the demon's lair, with the demon in hot pursuit. Just before the two awaken, Josh bravely leaves his son to confront the shadowy old woman who has haunted him since childhood and appears to be inside his house. Shouting for her to get away from him, he screams that he isn't afraid of her, and she retreats into the darkness. Moments later, Josh and Dalton awaken, and all the spirits disappear, leaving the family happily reunited. Renai, Dalton, and Lorraine chat in the kitchen while Elise and Josh pack up their equipment. Josh hands Elise the pictures from his childhood, and as she takes them from his hands, she senses something strange and takes a picture of Josh. 
He instantly goes into a rage, screaming that she knows he doesn't like to be photographed, and violently attacks her before strangling her to death. Rinai hears Josh yelling and enters the room to find Elise dead and Josh gone. She comes across Elisa's camera and sees a picture in it of the shadowy old woman, revealing that she has possessed Josh. Josh then places his hand on Rinai's shoulder, saying, Rinai, I'm right here. Thanks for watching, and which movie should we recap next? Comment your ideas down below. Stay tuned for another recap.